Oh, proving that uh, great minds think alike. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I, I know I love this. And that I should have probably looked at uh, Ashley's app before I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Before I decided on this. Um, but mine's called uh, Galaxy Domination. And it's pretty similar, in fact, to that. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, that's well, oh well. This it's really similar. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of creepily similar. Like maybe somebody <laughs> stole it from somebody. Nice. But uh, it it does offer. I, I, I may smell a lawsuit at this point. This is kind of nerve wracking. <laughs> if we could get some more zoom. Stole my idea. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, this has a, it's got a tutorial, uh, a campaign which. On the on the main app page, it says that the campaign only has a hundred episodes, um, but I played beyond a hundred and ended up resetting it just so I could show you uh, levels that I can actually beat instead of <laughs> like the top ones. <laughs> um, a random fight, uh, team two versus two, which makes it so that you actually have somebody on your team. Uh, on the one you're playing, you had the two versus one. Uh, this one has it's it's kind of cool. It just doesn't it lets you pass off. Uh, your units to another pl- to your teammates planet but you can't control any of their stuff so oh. you could you know in theory be oh. receiving units from them and uh, if you're not paying attention and you attack their planet it'll just send them units to use um, but it has some pretty there cool is. options it has uh, three different difficulty levels again I beat it I beat it on one so I started back on it on two uh, speedy mode goes quicker hell mode is just uh, much much harder and uh you can decrease the graphical effects. I I haven't had to use that, and I turned off the sound on attack because it was getting really annoying to my wife <laughs> to hear <laughs> like all this stuff going on. Um, but let me click on campaign. So this um uh, I don't know what one one of the cool things about this when you kind of when you rotate it, the numbers on the planets oh. actually rotate. Yeah, that looks uh very similar to something I saw a few minutes ago. Yeah. So with this, though, you draw up through. I don't know, Ashley. Did you play this a little bit? Did you check it out? I haven't seen that one yet until I saw the um, until I saw the, the rundown for today, and I was like, that sounds oddly similar. <laughs> yeah. Well, this one, the mechanic is just a little bit different because you you select multiple planets like that. You just run over all of them, and then you choose where you want to send all of them oh, and okay. release. And then you see all those little dots are uh, your little soldiers going on, but. It is the I used to play this one that was like a an it was like air control. It wasn't air control. It was some other one that had islands and airplanes that flew between the islands and mm-hmm. attacked the other stuff. And immediately I thought that you know this has got to be that uh, you know pretty similar to that. But yeah. then I didn't even see the other one that that she had. Um, but this it is, seems uh, um it seems like Galaxy Domination the one that you're showing is a little bit less. Uh, graphics intensive yeah. like it seems yeah. like the one that i reviewed is a little bit more like uh up to date but like it seems like it's really similar yeah and this is uh, you'll notice it's kind of slow because it's again i reset it and you you build up power up so uh for each level you beat you then get to choose how you want to apply that power uh whether it's yeah. to your attack defense speed or reproduction rate so you'll actually be able to produce units quicker Oh, well, that's and, very different. That's that. I don't think they have that in uh, and this, Galcon. This particular level has only one enemy, um, but most of the time you have at least two other enemies. Sometimes it's three, and one of them will have like a high defense. One of them will be very quick, and another one will like reproduce fast. You know, they so they vary it depending on the level, and it has. Uh, this one doesn't have it, but it has uh, some black holes in here too. So mm. you kind of can get an advantage over computers sometimes, uh, you know, the AI, because they'll send their guys right into the black hole, not even caring. And if you try and attack a planet and there's a black hole between where you're starting from and where you're landing, then those guys just disappear. Th- so. That's insane. Oh, wow. wow. Sorry. That's a little different. That's a, de- definitely a little bit more strategy involved in the levels. It seems like, um, I know that, uh, but then again, I mean, if in higher levels on mine, there could be black holes and things like that. I just haven't gotten there yet. Oh, you're yeah. going crazy on that thing, Lane. Yeah, sorry. You play it for a while and like that, you you can select multiple planets and then choose where you're sending them. So, and believe me, later on when you got people coming at you fast and there's like three or four enemies, you know, attacking you. And I like on this, I'm kind of having to play catch up because I'm not actually paying attention to what's going on to my planets. Just looks like you're going crazy with an Android lock screen. Yeah. 
yeah, try and uh, try and match this password, right? From smudges. That would be a really fun lock screen. Like, oh, that would be. Planets out to your thing, and then like you know, and then you unlock it. That would be fun. And uh, one other kind of uh, difference in the in the mechanic, if you go, like there's a planet here in the middle that's not mine. If I select these guys and send them to this far planet, the uh, guys that get sent past that planet will actually hit that planet and reduce the guys on there, and they won't go past it. You mm -hmm. know, I, I noticed yours, it was a really cool graphic. They were kind of curving around the planet uh, mm -hmm. to go to the target planet or whatever. To They were curving around the intermediary ones. Um, but this one, you kind of have it just plows right through. So you can, if you draw like this and target a far planet, you can actually just mm -hmm. it'll keep uh, sending wave after wave and eventually until you get to that end one. Ah. And they kind of that's what this level specifically is for is to teach you that mechanic. And for <laughs> for each level, there's a new mechanic to learn in order to beat oh. it. So well, that's cool. I like that there's uh, there's different mechanics and things in levels. That's pretty neat. So, but they need. So it's all, it is different. It's it's a little different. Same concept, different execution. Yeah. So cool. I like it though, but I'm definitely gonna have to try out uh, yours. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a cool. lot of fun. I like the um. I really like the uh the different modes on. Uh, like I really love the uh, the vacuum mode where it's just a countdown and it's you and you just have to like get all the planets before time runs out. It's real neat. Very so, cool. And this one is free on the market. Uh, Galaxy Domination. 